How you guys? It's your girl Jocelyn. Thanks for tuning in. While you at it, feel free to subscribe, share, like, comment, and tell me what you think. Um, I'm making this video today about man versus woman, which I was inspired to make this video from my last video um, called God is a Woman. If you guys want to go back and check that out where I decided to share my spiritual awakening process with the world um, to just show you guys the experiences that I have to discover certain things within myself. And one of my discoveries was what I've noticed about the man and the woman. And um, since I have more clarity on it now, I was inspired to just make this video today to share with you what I've learned. So I hope you guys are inspired. For example, women are designed to be emotionally stronger than men from an internal force from the inside, which means we kind of um, are very emotional beings because we have to sit in these emotions, we have to express them, and we have to heal from them, which takes um, time to do. But usually when we do, um, when we move on from things, um, we kind of just grow past it and never really look back because we have the natural abilities to heal ourselves from within. And men are logically stronger than women from a physical state, from an outside state, rather than an emotional state. Because he is taught to show his emotions with actions rather than in emotional feelings, which I understand that's the nature that um, they were just taught to be in, to just be quiet, you're a boy, or tuck it in because you're a boy shut up and be a man and that just goes back to childhood wounds and it can cause um, kind of a blockage um, within because no matter what men have feelings too um, and they need to also be in tune with their feelings and lift some of those blockages so um, they can become more healthier and happier within themselves um, and to properly grow also. I've also realized men's survival instincts are stronger than women's on the outside, but women's survival instincts are stronger than men's on the inside, meaning women um, have natural instincts within us, which we react out of intuition. Um, and men react out of logical mind and physical action. Um, meaning, for example, say the man and a woman is having hard times trying to make ends meet. Nine times out of 10, the woman is using her natural instincts, following her intuition to um, kind of put money to the side. And meanwhile, the man is doing a physical work, um, going out, repairing things, fixing cars, working, um, trying to get big promotions, doing the physical work to make sure that they are secure. So, um, you know, they both hold a responsibility of security, but one just reacts out of a physical force and one reacts out of intuition, but they both react out of instinct, if that makes sense. <laughs> And also, a man gonna go out by any means, if them lights getting cut off, he gonna go out and make sure he do whatever it takes to get that money to make sure them lights on. And say, why well, they ain't got no food at home, the woman gonna be at home looking through the cabinet and the refrigerator, putting two dimes together. A woman is going to make a meal out of anything in that kitchen it don't matter she gonna make sure that man got a full course meal when he come home so she fills him with the nourishments and the love that he needs and he fills her with the protection and the security that she needs and that's how they just become to work together and that's how they kind of balance each other out as well 
I've also noticed women are more communicative than men and men are less communicative than women. That's because we hold, like I said, we hold those emotions in and we are feeling these emotions, which um, is easier for us to express them because we are in tune with them. Meanwhile, men, um, they not really, they don't really communicate their emotions because they, like I said, it's taught that they are not allowed to do these things, which makes them kind of unconscious to their feelings. And women, um, we have to feel these emotions, so we have to express them, feel them, and heal from them. And it makes it easier for us to move on and to really never turn back to this person just to be with a person that's best for us because we learned what we did not like and what we did like through the expressions of our emotions. But and they really don't tune into that feeling. They go by a physical reaction of things, which means um, they think logically to things. And I do see the perspective um, in these physical actions that men choose. Um, for example, I used to hang with this girl back in high school a lot of time after school. She just was a beautiful person to be around. But one day I went in the middle of um, her mother and stepfather divorcing and I've noticed that he was still, you know, hugging her and kissing her and telling her um, this is something that I have to do and I'm doing what's best for you. And she kind of was clinging on to him and hugging him like, no, that's not true because, um, you know, she was very hurt. She was dealing with those emotions and she didn't want him to leave because she loved him to death and he loved her to death. And I just didn't understand well, why didn't you just stay with her? Um, I was really young, so I didn't understand. But when I got older, somehow I was hanging with this girl one day and we end up at this guy's place um, because he was kind of like a bootleg back then. And I've asked him, um, why did you divorce your wife when you really loved her and she really loved you? And he said, because... I'm still doing the same old thing. I'm still sleeping with other women. And it ain't fair to her to hurt her feelings. She too good for that. And she deserves better than that. So I did what I had to do so she could find her happiness. And I thought that was the most beautiful thing a man could have ever did for a woman. And although she didn't understand it at the time because she was going through the motions of it, he, in fact, logically understood that it just wasn't right. And he may have been stronger in that area. And there's certain things we have to grow from. Like, it's not fair that, you know, a man is cheating on you because he's not ready to settle down. But we also cannot control um, this man and stop his growth process. He is to grow when he is ready to grow. And we are to grow when we are ready to grow. And sometimes we just don't grow together. But whatever we lose or whatever that walks out on us, we get replaced with better so you're gonna always get better um everything happened for us and not to us for a reason for change for better for growth um and everybody just have to experience that in their own time so you know it's always fair to be understanding of one another and to be mutual to one another and to accept the fact when things just um, can't be fixed because um, that imbalance is not allowing it. So, you know, it's all about 
accepting things, accepting people for who they are, accepting um, each other's growth and to help each other build, to help each other see things from a better perspective, to help each other um, have that better understanding of one another and kind of, you know, see eye to eye on things and say, okay, and kind of just work together to be healthier and to just grow from these um, stuck behaviors. And it can be vice versa. The man can be healthy and the woman can have a blockage which um, makes her less communicative. That, um, it could cause an imbalance between the two um, from the lack of communication where she may be pouring more into him like dude i'm so in love with you and he may be like okay i love you but i'm not there yet but i do love you or it could be the other way around where you know the man is doing a lot for this woman to show this woman that he really love her and he really support her and want to make her feel secure and protected and meanwhile she's not giving that back to him in return and that's something that she has to face too from her childhood whether it was abandonment issues lack of love or just not being taught properly um whatever it may be may put a strain where she looking at him now like you tripping like i dig you but not as much as you dig me, but I do appreciate what you do for me, which can cause, like I said, an imbalance and a lack of communication and a lack of clarity. So that's these are things that we may want to look into within ourselves and our relationships. Um, so that way they could kind of grow more healthier as well. And also just give you, um, you know, just better clarity and a better sense on how working together and understanding each other um, can bring a great deal of peace and healthiness to one another to grow properly. Well, I hope you guys were inspired and please don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to like, share and comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.